it's time for the physical media pickups for the month of June. Yeah, six fingers for June. Okay, first up, we got DVDs. Some from Walmart here. We got The Midwife. $21.49, The Aftermath. 100 candles survive the game or suffer the curse. The Summoning. Sorority house, get ready for a killer party. Blood of the Brave. I believe this has a Blu-ray release in like Russia or something, but over here not so much. This one looks good. Salt Water, the battle for Ramry Island. Looks like a giant crocodile inspired by actual events. Jaws meets dog soldiers. Interesting. Death Ranch. This is the family that slays together stays together. Thumbs up. We also got get this off to the side here. It's starting to get a little high. Putter's Ground. From Sarah for Father's Day, I got Indian Horse. I think that I've seen that streaming now, but I gotta I gotta watch it. Been waiting to pop that DVD in. And finally, the complete series from DreamWorks of Kippo and the Age of Wonder Beasts. I believe this is on Netflix. Maybe a Netflix exclusive, though it doesn't have a Netflix logo on here. Does it have it anywhere? Yes it does. Netflix. So that's the DVDs. Moving on to... Nope, there's another DVD. Um, I had an order. or There was a movie released by Sub Rosa. And it was only one movie that I wanted. So I went through whatever else he was offering and found that this particular film on DVD from his personal collection, Hell Homes with Slipcover. I don't have any of these man-eaters. Or maybe I do have some of them, but... I don't know. I need to get them all because as far as I know, none of them are on Blu-ray. Then the rest of that order consisted also of the Mario Bava collection of Evil's Eye from Kino Lorber. Moving on to Blu-rays, obviously. Pioneer. This is a Magnolia Pictures release. Looking forward to watching that. And the movie I was essentially picking up, Night Feeder. I think it's a vampire movie. I don't know. I'll find out eventually. Let's move that out of the way. Okay, from Facebook, because I'm trying to get as many of the Screen Factory slip covers as possible, I picked up Assault on Precinct 13. Lord of Illusions. Now, I think this, I have the slip cover already for this, and a regular, I don't know. I, I'm, I have been messing up my Screen Factories. I seem to be jumping on these people, selling stuff before even checking if I have things. So, yeah, I don't know. I may have multiple copies of that now. Let's scare Julie. Now, this is one of those. Is this an... Well, it's not an IFC one, but this is in a Shout Studios. But it's one of those things where I never see the indie stuff released on slipcover here um, in Canada. Um, and because I was getting those, there were like three others that had already sold that I also wanted, but I was like, hey, you got other titles, let me see what you got. She also had, with slipcover, Razorback from Umbrella. Now, I have Razorback, the first release, which I thought was region free, but apparently is not. And though I bought it in Canada, go figure. Um, this one, on the other hand, does say region free, so I will finally be able to see that. I also picked up with slipcover Harpoon. The House That Dripped Blood. That's another screen factory I didn't have. And The Car. And I don't, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't have that already. Picked up The Curse of Downer's Grove. And finally, all Hallows Eve 2. I don't have any of the All Hallows Eve films, so I figured let's grab them. So, 
Let's put this stuff aside because it's piling up. Move on to some more Blu ray goodness. Another series that we don't, I can only ever seem to find DVDs up here. It's those Shudder Originals. So I picked up Horror Noir. I think I bought these from, where did I buy? I don't even remember where I bought it from. Because it came with slipcover. The Mortuary Collection. Maybe these were from Amazon? Because they just came out. Yeah, maybe from Amazon. And Host. Now, I figured, being that these ones, the Mortuary Collection and Host had just come out, I was safe in ordering them from Amazon. <laughs> and still getting the slipcover. Because, I don't know if it's any good, but Nicolas Cage, he's been doing horror movies a lot lately from, I think it was Walmart, I picked up Willy's Wonderland. Also from Walmart, this is a well-go release. The Great War of Archimedes. I'm going to say, like, the Asian films are just pumping out, are amazing. They're so good. Even the bad ones are at least entertaining. I also picked up another well-go release. This one, The Paper Tiger. Push this off to the side here. Now, because I'm supposed to be in this film, I picked up five copies of Zilla Foot. Yes, this may be my feature film debut, folks. So if you want to see me in a movie, head on over to Sub Rosa, get yourself a copy of Zilla Foot. I mean, I'm not in the credits or anything, right? Because that would be awesome, but uh, it's got Mark Polonia in it. <laughs> so yeah, I grabbed myself five copies of that. You know, mainly, you know, I might give them out as gifts to, to family and friends. But I also picked up some more stuff from Sub Rosa, including the Shot by Night, the Byron C. Miller collection. I think those are short films. And... Of course, Virus Shark. You can't not get Virus Shark. Or Dune World. Yes, looks like it's from Dune, but it really is just an indie film. And because sharks are all the rage, Jaws of the Shark. I don't know. And finally, Night, the Final Cut. Not the same as that other the Final Night, or <laughs> what was the other one I had? Night Feeder. Same company, different movie. But continuing on, got some Vinegar Syndrome with Alien from L.A. Surf 2. The Cardona Collection. Volume 1. on this nice slip box thing here and it contains the films Treasure of the Amazon Triangle the Bermuda Mystery and Cyclone now, uh, don't think I've seen any of those films but I'm definitely interested we got televised terror box set volume one this opens up like so if I can get it open it contains a disc I would have liked them to be a you know above this portion but makes it easier to pull them out but whatever and that contains the films are you in the house alone calendar girl murders and child in the night push those off to the side here Oops. moving on to 3d blu-ray releases i picked up Godzilla vs. Kong 3D. I could have gotten the 4K, but the 4K didn't come with the 3D, and I, it, 3D was available, so I gotta have the 3D release. <sighs> now, if somebody would take the 3D release and take the Atmos track from the 4K release, because I'm sure it had an Atmos, and I'm pretty sure that Atmos is not on Blu-ray. But, uh, yeah, it would be really, really cool because I would really, really like to see 3D well experiencing Atmos. 
Oh, this does have, oh, it is an Atmos. Okay, never mind. I've got an Atmos release here. I don't need anything else. I'm good. I don't need 4K video. There you go. 3D Atmos. I didn't even check that. And then my favorite film of all time apparently has a 3D release, but it's only in Germany. So, and there's only 300 or 250 copies ever made of it. So I, <laughs> when I found out about it, I grabbed it. Um, does have English audio. Um, so I am very, very happy to say I now own The Last Unicorn in 3D. Pretty awesome. Um, there are, there's like, I think four, four or five special release covers and such for it. Um, the other ones are just, this is the only 3D one though. Um, it's beautiful, gorgeous cover. Um, the other ones are also very, very nice, but I, and they're kind of pricey. So, I, I mean, I'm not even going to tell you how much I spent on this. Um, I don't even know if any of the releases are still available. But it's one of those things where I had to get the 3D version. So this was the only way to get it. At least at this moment, if it comes out here in North America, maybe I will get that as well. But, yeah. I don't know. It is what it is. And I am not regretting spending the kind of money I did to be able to get my favorite movie like this. Moving on from 3D to 4Ks. What did I get? Well, you saw I had Vinegar Syndrome releases, so I got the Scanner Cop box set with Scanner Cop and Scanner Cop 2 4K. And of course, Six String Samurai, a fancy super duper 4K collector's edition magnetic case thing that opens up fancily and does things and you're like what and this is crazy and what's going on here but that's another video for another time there you go all the physical media that i picked up no what am i talking about i got some other stuff because i got stuff from sub rosa i got posters so i got the night feeder poster got an insert for virus shark and sharks of the corn and then because I am supposed to be in Zilla Foot. Subrosa now offers a rolled, shipping it rolled, otherwise it comes folded, right? Pay extra for this, and it's only available on brand new releases. But seeing as how I was going to be in the movie, I said yes, and because I was ordering all sorts of other ones, I got a whole bunch of rolled posters, including, but not limited to, Dune World. Night. Jaws of the Shark. Multiple copies of Zilla Foot. Not that, you know, my family is going to put this up in their house, but they might. I don't know. Crazier things have happened. And then finally, Virus Shock. Yes. So that is all of my physical media pickups for the month of June. Comment down below what you think of them. Is there anything here that you got? Anything here that I'm missing? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Till next video, take care. Have a good one.